Okay, this is called a CEDAR. It stands for Controlled Internal Drug Release. And what we'll do is we fold these wings in, we put it inside the gun, and we put it inside the cow. We leave it there for seven days. Why did you dip it? Oh, it's, it's a lubricant. And in seven days, we'll come and we'll pull this back out. We use the blue string to pull it out. At that time, we give them a hormone, and they should be in heat in about two to three days after that. Another part of the program, we, we give them a shot of GNRH, which is a hormone. If she has an egg, she'll ovulate because next week we need to be working on the other phase of the ovary. The ovary has two phases. This gets rid of the first phase. The second phase is held into place by the, the cedar. Yes, next Tuesday, we'll come back out and pull the cedars and we'll give them a second hormone called lubilice and get ready to breed them in two to three days. Okay. Last week, we put a cedar in this one. This week, we're going to pull it out and we just take the blue string and insert it. This, this we throw away. The next thing we do is put a an estrus patch on the back. It has a silver lining on it like a lottery ticket. And when they're in heat, that will be rubbed off and it'll be completely orange. And that's when we know when to inseminate them. Next thing we do is give them some prostaglandin and that's a hormone that will make them come into heat in about two to three days. Okay, now we'll just observe for heat the next two to three days and we'll inseminate. Pull it out. Stick that on top of her tail. It's three days after we gave them the shot of lutalice and pulled the cedar. 
both of them are in heat um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, both units of semen out to the cow and we stored in liquid nitrogen which is minus 320 degrees and they're, they're in can they're in racks like this that hold 10 units and they're in straws like that and we put them in warm water that's about 95 degrees and we'll let it in we'll leave it in there for about 30 seconds and then we'll go breed the cow We snap the units after I cut the crimped end off. We snap them in a disposable sheath that goes over a stainless steel reu reusable gun. There's two ends to the straw. One end is crimped, and that's what I'm going to cut off right now. The other end is, is made of, it's a cotton plug, which will literally push the semen into the cow, almost like a syringe. Okay, we go. Okay, we put the first cow in, and as you see, the, the, the patch is orange, so the other cows have been riding her, so that's how we know she's in heat. So I'm going to go in through the rectum. And I'm, a, I'm above the the uh, reproductive tract and now I'll insert the straw, the, the gun okay I'm the gun is, is, is to the cervix now I'm going to thread the gun through the cervix and once I'm through that, which I am now, I'll deposit the semen in the uterus and let Mother Nature take her course. Okay, now we'll work on the next one. Did the other one seem like it? Oh yeah, she was. And how are you going to tell for I sure? I really think she is. She's she's been acting up and yeah. Well, we'll we'll, we'll see. Usually in the first part of the heat, we'll get some mucus come out, and that'll be a good sign. Okay, on this, on this young heifer, I just put my hand in, in, in her rectum, and I'm going to insert the AI gun in.
being it's your first time that the, the cervix is very small. A little bit. There we go. We just we just popped into the uterus. And I'll deposit the semen in there. And we're good to go. Good job, Shadow. So now what are we watching for, Steve? Well, we're watching for them to, um, we'll put another patch on them about, oh, 16, 17 days from now, and we'll see if they return in heat. They run about a 21-day cycle. And if they're rubbed in, in roughly three three weeks, we'll come back and we'll rebreed them. Yeah, what we look for in, in cows, when they start to come in into heat, the estrogen mimics testosterone, so they ride each other. And that's what happened with these cows and caused the patch to turn orange so we know that they're in heat. Okay, just out of curiosity, how many cows do you breed a year? A year? Or would you rather go about, a month? About probably 35,000 a year. 35,000 cows a year. Yeah. That's why you're so good. I, I've bred roughly, I've, I've figured in my lifetime, probably between 600,000 and 700,000 cows. That's amazing. Wow. We're lucky in this area here to have good AI. Is there AI in other parts that don't have dairies? How do people service their cows in places where there's not a lot of dairies? Um, I would imagine some vets do.